p.m. in the UK, 9 a.m. Eastern. It's Friday and it's Ask Angelica. Hello, Angelica. Hello, Stephen. Wie geht es dir? It's get me a good danke. <laughs> sort of. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, the basic principle of the show uh, is that Angelica has filmed an area of Wiltshire, which is where we live. And we're going to be showing the video at the end of the show. But before that, Angelica has put German sentences together. I say the sentence, Angelica will correct my pronunciation, and then I'll attempt to translate the sentence. In case I can't, I've got the English version. If you're watching the show, then you can uh, translate at the same time. So, Angelica, would you like to explain a little bit about the topic you've chosen for today, which should come up on screen in a second. There you are. It's all yours. Yes, it has. It's Old Serum, which is about half an hour's drive from us. And um, actually, the video, although it looks like a video, are photographs that I've taken on a visit to it. Um, I don't really want to say too much about it yet, because I'd rather tell you about it in German. Um, but the sentences I've got were actually taken from an English website and uh, I've translated it into German uh, and some of them I slightly adjusted to make them a bit more either easier or easier to fit on the screen. But we still had to do a couple of sentences in more than one part. <laughs> Indeed. And today we're on uh, Belay Studio 2. So... If any of the sentences just don't look quite right, don't worry about it. It will be uh, improved for our next visit. So yeah. it's not my spelling. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not your spelling. Let's bring up the first phrase onto the screen to replace uh, what's there at the moment. And I shall read it out. And the good thing about this is that I can actually see I'm not looking down the right hand corner of the screen. I can actually look straight at the screen. I can read out also Mr. Aina. Eine der historisch bedeutendsten Städten in Süden, in Südengland. Olsen ist eine der historisch bedeutendsten Städten in Süden, England. Right, so having the end slipped over on the next bit is not very helpful when you're trying to read a word, is it? Olsen ist eine der historisch bedeutendsten Stetten and uh, yeah, Süd England. You you quite rightly noticed, although Süden would have made sense. Yes, Süden on its own is the south, but then the second bit of Gland wouldn't have made much sense. So Süd England is the right way to right. say. Right. So it. it was. It's actually brought it all. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's try and translate then. Uh, old Serum is one of the historic bedeutendsten was bedeutet das sort of important ah right all ceremony is an historic important uh stetten a site a site yeah so not stetter with a dt because that would have been towns indeed stetter with double t means sort of a site a place okay so let's see if we're right. Almost. Uh, in a, in a moment. We'll... Yeah, Sorry. go on, put the sentence. I said, you, you, you'll see it now. It's not one, it's one of the, because it said, ah. eine der historisch bedeutendsten. So it's one of the most historically important sites in southern England. Yeah, important. Yeah, that's, that's definitely. Looks, looks cool. <laughs> okay. So Old Serum is one of the most historically important sites in southern England. All right, mm -hmm. German phrase two. We'll bring that up on screen now. And it will replace that in a second or two. And I shall read it out. Es ist eine massive Festung aus der Eisenzeit. Yeah, es ist eine massive Festung aus der Eisenzeit. And the dots tell us there will be part two. Okay, so let's let's read part one. I'll translate part one. It is 
it is one large actually think of the word in english as well massive yep festum monument it's not a monument no it's a fortress fortress okay so it's one of the it is a massive fortress uh from the no it's zeitis time yeah uh or, ice and zeit ice and zeit ice is ice so it, from the ice age <laughs> no not no? quite good good guess um okay. you're right ice is ice but eisen is iron ah right okay so, so it's, it's from from the iron translation age. then is um okay it's a massive fortress from the iron age yeah okay right so eisen zeit iron eisen eisen zeit yeah eisen yeah if you think okay. bugel eisen which i love that word bugel eisen because yeah. bugel in the verb is to iron okay eisen we now know is iron so and bugel eisen is an ironing iron for ironing with yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay right uh phrase uh three in german which is a continuation of this sentence yeah and it's coming up on screen shortly uh so phrase three und war die älteste siedlung von salisbury yeah von salisbury und war die älteste uh, siedlung von salisbury and was the oldest what do we say it was siedlung siedlung it's a settlement Settle, oh, it was the oldest settlement uh, in the Salisbury area or from yeah. Salisbury or near Salisbury? Yeah, in, in Salisbury, from Salisbury, whichever. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this this was in the Iron Age. Um, yeah. Okay. So translation is, and it's coming up on screen. It is coming up on screen, I do assure you. Oh, no, it's not. Wait a minute. Okay, let's try that one. We're in a new studio, we're just testing things out and was the oldest settlement in Salisbury. You got that one right. That's it. Well, that's because you wrote it, really. And it's, well, no, the, the website did. Okay. I, I used the English text this time and, and translated it into German. All right. Phrase four. And phrase four will be showing on screen and I shall read it out. I do love the fact I can actually see this. Not <laughs> I love the love the way some of the words turn up now. Olzerum atta eine Kernlicher Burg und Kath. I'm going to say Cathedral. La. Cathedral. Can you read it? Can you read it, please? Yeah. Olzerum hatte eine königliche Burg und Kathedrale. I I love the the the. Uh, the, the break up there because in German words actually get hyphenated a lot more than in English than, than people uh -huh. do in England. So at the end of a line, we very often hyphenate words, but there are strict rules for that as well. And uh, okay. obviously, <laughs> the software here hasn't got a clue. No, and just no, it doesn't. It's, when it's, the it's letters finish. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. All serum has one. Ah, it's, it's not what has had had yeah uh, had one king well almost we once royal did some. yeah exactly and one royal uh hill mountain that would be back book is, is book town it's a castle castle right uh all right, I'll try again. Old Serum had one of the. I'm losing a plot here. Uh, <laughs> this is not good. Would you like to translate it for me? <laughs> Old Serum had a royal castle and cathedral. And. Okay, I'm just going to scroll down, hopefully. And hopefully this is going to be okay. Um, all right, okay, I was a bit worried for a second there. I'm going to come up. Uh, so. Translation is um, on phrase four is that Old Sarum had a royal castle and cathedral. 
Yeah. Right, phrase five then. And phrase five in German, I shall attempt to read it out. Continuation again. Yeah. Und war 150 Jahre lang, lang eine bedeutendes Zentrum. Mm, und war 150, 150, you could say as well. We most yeah. of the time just tend to say 150. So, und war 150 Jahre lang ein bedeutendes Zentrum. Okay. Uh, was, for Zen. <laughs> okay. was for 150 years? For a, a length of 150 years? 150 years long? Well, for 450 years, yeah. So for the length, we wouldn't really say, we would just say, and for 150 years. But what was it for that? It was time? a center for the Dointenders. Go on. Well, we, earlier on, we had historisch bedeutendsten, which was yes. the most important. So now it's just important. It was an important center for 150 years. Okay, the translation on the screen now is uh, 150 years was an important center. Yes. Okay, phrase six, and we're talking about Old Serum, which is in Wiltshire, and there'll be a film at the end of this broadcast. And uh, this really is the, the third part of the sentence. So if you think Old Serum had a royal castle and cathedral and for 150 years was an important centre of something, and that's this bit now. Der Weltlichen und Kirchlichen Regierung. Yeah, der Weltlichen und Kirchlichen Regierung. Uh, the world, well, church, oh, we went like a moment ago. Um, church and, sorry, world and church. Mm -hmm. uh, kingdom? Well, Regierung, uh, no, that kingdom, it would be Königreich. Okay. Regierung is what we also have, and we're having great fun with it in England at the moment, with our Regierung. Or not. Parliament? Government. Government. <laughs> world and church government. Well, sort of worldly or secular, and I can never pronounce the English word. Do you want to get the English text up? I'll bring the English text up, and then, yeah. then uh, <laughs> we can go for this. So, uh, a both secular and ecclesiastical government yeah. with a T. Yes. Right. <laughs> And phrase number seven. Uh, and phrase number seven reads, Vederberg uh, noch Dom waren lange besetzt. Veda. Well, Burgess Castle, I learned that a few yeah. moments ago, or you reminded me. Uh, noch Dome was. Yeah, well, you, you need to look at the so, so book and dorm are the two things that we've been talking about that old serum had. And the Veda really needs to go together with noch. So it's Veda something, noch something else. And that means neither nor. Neither castle or yeah. church. Or cathedral. Dom is another word for cathedral. We can use right. cathedrale, we can use dom. So neither, ch uh, not church, sorry, neither castle nor cathedral. Was there for long? Were occupied for long. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we'll go for the translation of phrase seven. So uh, translation of phrase seven is neither castle nor cathedral was occupied for long um okay and we go on to phrase eight yeah some of the ways it's actually passing the sentences ah dear me at least it's doing it both the german and the english yes weil es, phrase eight weil es nicht genug platz gab wurde die cathedrale oh, 226 verlegt Oh, you're good, getting good with your numbers. Well done. So, weil es nicht genug Platz gab, wurde die Kathedrale 1226 verlegt. 
remember the german don't have a th so it's it, it's just pronounced like a t so cathedrale 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 yeah <sighs> While there wasn't enough, yeah, not while because 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 there wasn't enough space. Mm -hmm. The cathedral was demolished in twelve twenty six. Well, I guess it was, but verlegt actually means it was moved. Ah, it was moved from Old Sarum to the current Salisbury. Mm right You've okay read the so next sentence okay uh and we're gonna have the translation of phrase eight which is uh and it's because there wasn't enough space the cathedral was moved in 1226 and the, th the thing is from old serum as it stands as it is now you can actually see the new cathedral you can see the spire can't you there is one picture that i took where you can i'm not sure whether it will come out on the video so well but um, where you can see the spire of the cathedral right so phrase nine is, uh, and I'm going to read phrase nine, der neue Ort wurde New Sarum genannt. Mm -hmm. Right, the new building will be known as New Sarum. Well, not building, Ort is a place. Right. Yeah, it's a, it's a general word used for, uh, um, well, for example, Wohnort which is the place where you live, because the place you live could be a town, could be a city, could be a village, could be a hamlet. So Germans just use art, which covers everything. So the so new place was new called. place. OK, so yeah. yeah, translation, the new place. Uh, and I'm going to right. the new place was called New Serum. <laughs> but I've missed a bit, haven't I? Well, there's a little bit more all right uh, so which i just uh, added rather than putting right. it on there Fris so 10 Fris 10 is das heutige salisbury this has got to be the same it's got to be the same uh and i'm going to translate that to today's salisbury it is yeah and we have the official translation coming up on screen right and i'm going to Oh, today, Salisbury. Okay, all good. Right, now, uh, what I'm going to do as I take that off the screen is I'm going to share my screen and bring up the video, uh, or video of the photos. Well, this is old serum and Angelica is going to uh, explain. Just give me a moment to actually get this set up because we want to do this right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Okay, I've actually lost sound with you, so I'm hoping that you're not talking now, Stephen. Um, so I'll read all those German sentences again. Old Serum is one of historisch bedeutendsten Städten in Südengland. Es ist eine massive Festung aus der Eisenzeit und war die älteste Siedlung von Salisbury. Old Serum hatte eine königliche Burg und Kathedrale und war 150 Jahre lang ein bedeutendes Zentrum der weltlichen und kirchlichen Regierung. Weder Burg noch Dom waren lange besetzt. Weil es nicht genug Platz gab, wurde die Kathedrale 1226 verlegt. Der neue Ort wurde New Serum genannt, das heutige Salisbury. And the next picture actually shows the spire of the cathedral. Oh, no, it wasn't the next one. It should be one which shows the sp spire of the cathedral. Uh, 
That's what it looked like. There it is. Me back. There you are. Oh, yeah. That's magical. It's uh, it is a little bit disconcerting the way it actually works, but on the final video you'll see the slides and hear yourself. Okay. Right. Yeah. No, I, I couldn't hear you, so I. No, I wasn't. I, I wasn't you. anywhere to be seen. I was. No, I, I know. I just hoped you weren't saying something like an introduction or anything like this. And the last thing I said was it's over to Angelica. Cool. Right, we're, we're cool. This is Ask Angelica, <laughs> season two, episode 19. We can actually talk about the episode in two weeks' time, Angelica. Yeah, um, that will be on the, oh, I've written it down, on the 12th of July. And um, that will be the final episode of season two, where we're looking at places in Wiltshire. I've got a place in mind, but I haven't quite decided yet which one to go for. So you'll have to wait until then. And then we'll stop for the summer break. And on the 6th of September, we're starting again with season three um, with something new. Which, again, I haven't quite decided yet either. Right, and we've got so, some exciting news about what we're going to do whilst we're not broadcasting, which we'll tell you about next time. That's the hook to bring you to the next show. <laughs> uh, so, Angelica, would you like to close the show? Well, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed um, Old Serum and uh, if you're ever in the area, it might just entice you to go and have a look at it. And apart from that, I'll see you in two weeks. So it's just von mir. Und tschüss von mir. Bis später. And that's a wrap.